is different than other bookkeepers, right? It's, we're going to call it an income statement, which I kind of feel like is a little bit more professional or, or seems no, more normal to me for external reporting purposes uh, for some reason. That's just what I, I guess what I learned. But let's go ahead and go to the uh, customize and let's get rid of the pennies. Let's get rid of, let's get negative numbers bracketed, show them in red on the header and filter side of things. I'm gonna get rid of the date, time and report bases and then run that report. So there we have it. Looks very nice at Almosa. And let's go ahead and save the customization. So I'm gonna make this go into a group. I'm gonna call it month end reports. And I'm gonna add the group. So there's our group and I'm gonna call it a summary income statement summary, but I'm going to name it number four because I'm continuing after the, the balance sheet reports we did before, even though we can't see them in the custom reports. So let's go ahead and save it. And then if I go to the first tab and my custom reports refresh the screen, let's see if it pulls up like it should. There it is. So we have that one. And then if I go to my income statement again, I might say, okay, now I want to have a full expanded income statement but since I already have the summary, maybe I can add a little bit extra to this one, possibly making it a vertical analysis income statement maybe. So I can select the drop down and say, maybe I want a percent of income. That's the main one for vertical analysis that we saw in a prior presentation, run it. So now everything's being compared to that income line. And I might call this then an income statement vertical analysis analysis or something like that and then i can save this one and cust i already customize it so i'll save customization making this number five number five and then we're going to save it let's check it out going back to the first tab refreshing the screen there's our reports two of them in there now mui b to the end b in Hippies are just being, man, but why would you just be in when you can mooey be in? When you can mooey be in. Okay, so then I'm gonna do uh, another one. Let's go, let's go back to the normal, the normal here, normal. And then we could do a, a statement by quarter we might wanna do, dropping it down over here and maybe a, a quarter statement. If you're at year end, if you were only at the end of the second month or the or the first quarter, you might do a month, month by month report for that first few months, right? But I'm at the end of the year, so maybe a quarter by quarter report would be necessary, would be appropriate. So this would be an an income statement, statement by quarter, something like that. And we'll save this one. Mui B to the N. We're gonna save customization number six on this one six and we'll save it let's check it out going back to the first tab to check it out running it to refreshing it and there we have it there's number six let's go back on over let's just do one more just to get an idea we could do the horizontal analysis let's bring this back to where it was total run it and this time we might want to compare two months let's just do december and november so we might say let's say this was going from uh 110123 tab 1231 or no let's go 12123 to 1231 run it and then we might do the drop down up top comparing it to the previous period percentage change and dollar change dollar and percent change running it there it is and then we can change the name of that one we might say this is going to be an income statement uh, horizontal analysis horizontal analysis something like that copy in that one and then save the customization and then we're going to say this is going to be boom and this could be number seven save it and then you could do one for the prior period as well. So we have a whole lot of options, right? I could do this the same thing and say, well, let's compare that to the pre to the previous year. And we could do another horizontal compared to the prior year, which is getting confusing on the names. 
Nothing's in the prior year, so that's also confusing. But we'll leave it there. Just note, we just picked some that might be appropriate. Those don't have to be the ones that you use. And again, the reports that you do use will be dependent upon what time of the year it is. If it's beginning in the year, you might be do, doing more month by month comparisons. If it's the end of the year, quarter by quarter comparisons comparing to the prior period uh, and so on. And also we would have the balance sheet accounts here as well in our customized reports. That was numbers one through three that, that at least that we can do. And we can see now that we're getting a long list of reports, which is why it's not usually best to just attach them as an email uh, because if you have like 10 reports, that becomes tedious for someone to download. It might be out of order sometimes. Numbering it here will give it to you in order in your system, which is nice. So it would be better to at least zip the file to provide it to someone by email if that's the method used or use a cloud drive or you can use our management report that we talked about before. And we won't do that again, but you could use this to then pull in the customized reports. Whatever your method is of delivery, this might be your first step. This can feed into it. So you can do this, you can list out your reports, you can create them monthly, quarterly, yearly, and then you can populate them into your management reports if you so choose. You can print them out as PDF files, provide them on a cloud drive, OneDrive, Amazon, Dropbox, or you could uh, uh, zip the file and email it, or you can export these files as we create them to Excel using Excel then to populate one PDF file using a PDF printer as we saw in the past and we'll do in the future as well. That's the most customizable option because you can do a little bit more customizing within Excel, although it takes a little bit more work to do that. You can even integrate Excel with Word if you wanted to it and make it really fancy. So you don't need to go overboard, but if you do a little bit more just in terms of the presentation, like I think the, the Steve Jobs was the guy that really kind of made that clear with the fat with the, his designs of the of his phones, putting so much time on things like text and color schemes and rounded edges and this kind of things where doesn't isn't really necessary the most practical type of things for, from a technical standpoint but people appreciate the attention to the detail of those types of things and it raises confidence which is often something that you need uh, as as a bookkeeper when you're dealing with people's numbers so if you print the reports provide them neatly give a little bit of extra effort just in terms of the presentation that can go a long way to say hey look i'm doing the best i can do here